Hello everyone, Soprano Theories here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, be sure to click subscribe and click the bell to get notifications on all upcoming Sopranos content. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links will be in the description below. When we think of some of the greatest television characters of all time, many fan favorites come to mind. With characters such as Walter White and Jesse Pinkman, as well as the infamous Tony Soprano. And in terms of these Sopranos, there are many tremendous characters that I could go on and on about when it comes to great television characters. But for me, and every time I view The Sopranos, there's one character's growth, progression, and just overall writing of the character that, in my opinion, makes him the greatest television character ever written. And that is the character of Christopher Moltisanti, played absolutely flawlessly by the amazing Michael Imperioli. And in this video, I'll be discussing why Christopher Moltisanti is the most complex television character of all time. The Sopranos itself captivated the everyday lives of human behavior. And nowhere do we see this most than in the character of Christopher Moltisanti. Christopher's overall character arc, growth, and progression is unlike any other characters I've ever seen on the small screen. While there is certainly the progression of Tony Soprano that we see throughout the course of the series, unfortunately there's no growth or lessons learned when it comes to Tony. As he never fully changes, does nothing to become a better individual for himself or to his family, and forever was a sociopath, narcissistic, and evil murderer. When we're first introduced to Christopher in Season 1, he's a young, hot-headed, foolish, and an eagerly inspired mafioso who's impatiently waiting to earn his stripes. And he's ambitious to climb up the ranks within the family. As his rise within the family would have been too fast for others, but it's not fast enough for Christopher's own liking as Tony slowly grooms Christopher throughout the series. We later learn that Christopher was basically forced into the Mafia as his father Dickie Moltisanti, who worked under Tony's father Johnny Boy, was Tony's mentor in life. And while growing up without a father and having an alcoholic as a mother that was never around to support him, Christopher basically grew up on his own. And as a result, Tony took Christopher under his wing. While we never really know this or not, it's quite possible that Christopher never considered another lifestyle or career path for himself, as he wanted to honor his late father he never knew, but also wanting to make his father figure in Tony proud. We quickly learned that maybe this move by Tony to take Christopher under his wing may have been the wrong move, as we see Christopher countlessly annoy Tony throughout the first two seasons, and we wondered when his time will come to becoming a made member in the Mafia. A character like Christopher who is surrounded by sociopathic murderers would have likely been murdered himself earlier than we all would have thought. As in the beginning of the series, we saw Christopher dream of another life for himself. Whether it was writing his own scripts, attending acting classes, and dabbling into the film industry, something that had always been a lifelong dream and passion of his that he would later pursue in season 6. But we can't help but wonder if Christopher ever felt that he maybe wasn't always supposed to be in the Mafia, but rather he was destined for something else in life. Christopher was constantly being reckless and getting into trouble, as we also saw him get seriously involved with drugs and alcohol that resulted in Christopher relapsing numerous times and almost getting himself killed. And when it comes to Christopher dying, he was essentially a ticking time bomb when we first saw him. And the only thing saving him for that matter was the fact that he was Tony's so-called nephew, even though he wasn't as there are numerous times throughout the show where Christopher is saved from death, being Tony's nephew. And when push came to shove, it was always Christopher's dreams and aspirations of being in the film industry that was somewhat of an escape from the toxic mafia lifestyle. In the first few seasons, Christopher becomes a distraction and a liability towards Tony, as his countless mess-ups and faults cause a tremendous amount of stress on Tony's self-esteem. However, despite his countless flaws, Christopher was embraced repeatedly by Tony, as Christopher viewed Tony as an older brother-like or a father figure throughout his life. And as a result of this, the relationship strengthened. As the series continued, we watched Christopher mature and grow into an adult and watched him climb the ranks within the Mafia, as he wasn't the immature youngster we once knew. And thus, Tony began to think highly of his nephew he once thought was immature. This resulted in Christopher gaining Tony's trust and giving him more jobs, eventually becoming a made member of the family and stating how he would take over the family if, God forbid, something were to happen to Tony. But what really makes the character of Christopher Moltisanti so compelling to watch, and in my opinion one of television's greatest characters ever written, is the sense of realism that he brought to the audience. While his drugs and alcohol problems certainly provided a sense of realism, not everyone related to being addicted to drugs like heroin. 
but it was Christopher's emotions that he displayed throughout the course of the series, his battles with depression and mental health, and his overall character growth are what makes him so memorable. Christopher contemplated his current outlook on life, as he pondered the idea of leaving the mafia to pursue a career as a screenwriter. We see Christopher display feelings of loss, emptiness, and uncertainty as he feels that he's a nobody compared to his mafia counterparts. Throughout the series, Christopher comes to terms with himself and his realization as a gangster. While we do see Christopher make a brief attempt at making movies, becoming a screenwriter, actor, and working in the film industry, Christopher comes to terms that he can't branch out into the regular world, as he's surrounded by a life of the mafia as it's the only world he's ever known and the only world he knows. But also, Christopher comes to terms with his epiphany and that he can't leave New Jersey or Tony as he'll wind up dead. Being with Tony, being in New Jersey, and being in the Mafia are the only essentials Christopher has ever learned and knows how to do in life. But it was when Christopher went to rehab was when everything changed for Christopher. The more Christopher grew as an individual, the more he learned about how difficult it is to get sober in the recovery process. The more distant he grew from the guys and where they hang out. As hanging around at a strip club all day, surrounded by alcohol and being around a deli that's full with beer, became increasingly difficult for Christopher. Even after becoming sober from drugs and alcohol, he still got teased by his friends and is surrounded by a lifestyle that is unhealthy for a recovering addict. As it threatened his sobriety, it made everyone around him think less of Christopher. They didn't understand how difficult it was for someone to become sober, especially from a drug like heroin, and constantly being surrounded by alcohol. As this becomes one of Christopher's greatest struggles throughout the series, the other being the death of his girlfriend. As we all know, Christopher chose to side with Tony over the love of his life which resulted in a tremendous amount of regret and guilt being held on Christopher. As he later reflects and looks back on choosing to side with Tony, and how Tony never really appreciated his loyalty and honesty in the situation, which resulted in Tony brushing Christopher aside because of his battles with addiction. Christopher and Tony's relationship was extremely important to the overall character growth of both Tony and Christopher. As Christopher viewed the death of Adriana as a favor that he wasn't really strong enough to do himself. But in hindsight, the decision to kill Adriana was only dividing the two more, as Tony couldn't stand to hear Christopher mourn over the loss of the love of his life, despite having Christopher choose to side with Tony over Adriana. Because of this, we saw a tremendous downfall in Christopher. He works in the program of Alcoholics Anonymous, only to have the fact that he's in the Mafia limit his potential within the program. He marries a woman who he unintentionally gets pregnant, hoping that starting a family can fill his emptiness and loneliness that came from his distant relationship with him and Tony, and also the loss of the love of his life in Adriana. He finally follows his passion for filmmaking, which bluntly looks as a revenge fantasy towards Tony, with the film representing Christopher's feelings and how the Mafia lifestyle wasn't always the life he desired. Christopher was easily the most human out of all his Mafia colleagues. He separated himself from the reality that lied within the Mafia and truly wanted a way out as he knew deep down inside he would likely wind up dead like his father. While he did make mistakes along his journey, no character suffered more than Christopher. His arc and human-like behavior made him my favorite character on the show and one who projects the reality that comes with life. Christopher is always changing, always developing, and always adapting to different situations. From a young gangster who is not even seen as a soldier, to a made guy and abuser, to a drug addict and failure, to an ex-drug addict who tries to better himself but fails again, and at last, to a heartbroken shell of a man. One moment we feel bad for him, the next we despise him. It's a constant back and forth struggle with Christopher, much like the life of an addict. He leaves us hemming and hawing with our emotions. Christopher is easily the most complex and relatable character the series ever had. He is always in a vulnerable state and struggles with his demons in every aspect of life. His arc is vast and has a mix of a chaotic power struggle, strength, weakness, creativity, and sensitivity. For all that he did for Tony, to becoming an addict, a movie producer, to a made guy who makes challenging decisions, like choosing to side with Tony and ultimately putting family first, it is those moments of creativity that have us loving Christopher at the same time as hating him throughout the show. Christopher Moltisanti is one of the most tragic characters to ever appear on a television screen. His dreams and desires of becoming a filmmaker or working in the film industry made him so much more realistic to the other characters we see. At times, he's the only character who projects the reality that comes with life. 
He projects emotions and feelings, something we never see in the Mafia world. When we first saw Christopher, he was a young, hot-headed, and junked-up mafioso, eager for his start to work with Tony Soprano. But by the series' ending and his death, Christopher matured into a man. He started a family, produced a film, and lived in a beautiful home. To watch a character like Christopher go through so many battles in life, such as his relationship with Tony, his battles with drugs and alcohol, losing the love of his life by siding with the man he once adored, loved, and idolized, then having it all end by having the same man you once looked up to and viewed as a father figure kill you, is absolutely pure brilliance. And there will never be anything like this situation or Christopher on television ever again. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and click subscribe for more Sopranos themed content and keep it locked here, right here on this channel.